Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an inline contact form. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how. This tutorial is going to require some CSS code. So before we begin, let's dive into our WordPress admin dashboard and let's create a page. So I'm going to come over here to pages. So in my case, I've created my page ahead of time. So you would need to create a brand new page. So my page is called inline. So I'm going to come over here and click on edit. So what we need to do next is to come over here to our visual builder because I prefer building my pages in the visual builder. Okay, so we can see here we have a basic page. So the first thing we want to do is to add a brand new section. So I'm going to click this plus button here, click on regular, and we only need a single column. So I'm going to click on this. And then I'm just going to close it for now. Next, what we need to do is to add a background color to this section. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings click on background, click this plus button to add our background color, and I'm just going to paste my color right in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. Now it's time to add our module, so I'm going to come over here and click this add new module button, and our module is going to be the contact form. So I'm going to click on contact form, and here we can make some um, changes or some adjustments. So the title here can be get quote, and success message I'll just leave that blank submit button we can just say send we're gonna come over here to the email and this is where you have to add your email address so in my case I'll just put my email address in here and the message pattern I'm just gonna leave that as it is next let's take a look at the elements so over here display capture I'm just gonna say no and then I'm gonna to come to the background click on form background color so here I'm gonna add my RGB value for my um, form so I'm just going to paste it in here. Now, if you want the exact settings that we're using throughout this tutorial, you can find this on our blog, which I've linked in the show notes below. So next, let's go into the design tab. So first off, let's go to the title text and let's choose a font called Lato. And then we're going to make the font size 24 and the text color needs to be white. So I'm just going to select my white from here. In fact, it's um, the hex decimal for white is six f's and let's come over here to our form field text and this needs to be white as well so i'm going to select my form field text color and add my color in here like that next let's come over here to border and we need to make sure that use border is set to yes and our color is white so this allows us now to see our form behind this blue background and then over here on the input border radius, let's set that to three, like that. Next, let's go to our button settings. So I'm gonna click this button, click on use custom styles for button. Now this allows us to get all the options and all the settings that we need to customize this button. So for the button text size, let's set it to 24 for the desktop. And I'm gonna click this button here so I can adjust my sizes for the tablet and the smartphone. So for the tablet, I'm going to set this to 20 and for the smartphone, I will set it to 20 as well. So let's move on to our button text color. So I'm just going to paste my color in here and then I'm going to move on to the button background color and then I'm going to paste my color in here. Now moving on, we need to come over here to our button border width, set it to three and our button border radius needs also to be set to three. So for now, let's go ahead and save settings. So back over here on our contact form settings, let's come over here and change our message tab to be the phone. So I'm gonna come over here into my settings. I'm gonna change my field ID to phone and I'm also gonna change my uh, title to phone like that. Let's come over here to our design tab, click on layout. So where it says here, make full width, let's set that to no. So the next thing we're going to do here is to go into the advanced tab and add our custom CSS. So I'm going to add this to the main element. I'm just going to paste it. So for now, we're going to go ahead and save our settings. So next, we need to uh, duplicate one of these options. So I'm going to come over here and duplicate our phone, go into the settings. Now with this, I'm going to change this to zip code. So I'm just going to enter my text in here to indicate that the field ID is zip and then over here I'm just going to call this zip code 
and then I'm going to come over here to my advanced tab and add my custom CSS. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to overwrite what I have in here and paste it. So far, we've adjusted the width and alignment of the phone and the zip code fields. Next, we need to do the same on the name field settings. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to come over here back to our contact form settings. So let's start off with the name. So I'm going to click on name, in the settings. I'm going to go over here to the advanced tab and I'm going to paste my CSS code like that. So I'm going to save for now. And then next, I'm going to come over here, go back to my field settings click on the email and let's do the same click on the advanced tab and let's paste our CSS code in here so now you can see that everything is in line okay so our form is looking great we're almost done so what we need to do here is to go ahead and save and then save everything and then come over here to our section settings and now what we need to do here is to go into our design tab and click on spacing so we need to add our custom padding 12 to the top and a 14 to the bottom like that let's save our settings and now it's time to go into our row settings so I'm gonna click this uh, row settings icon so over here we're gonna go into the design tab click on spacing and for our custom padding I'm gonna add a 48 to the top and then 0 to the bottom I mean to the right bottom and left so for now we're gonna go ahead and save and uh, I just noticed that I have this text over here we don't ne necessarily have to have that in fact we can have get quote on the actual button so let me go ahead and fix that so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go into my module settings and I'm just gonna remove it from here and add that to the button finally we need to make this form responsive so we need to come over here and add some code on this page so I'm gonna click on my expand settings click on my settings for the page and then I'm going to come over here to my advanced tab click on custom CSS and I'm going to paste my code in here and then I'm going to go ahead and save so this is our final design all I have to do now is to save the page and exit the visual builder now let's say you want to create a form with less fields all you have to do is to go into the settings and delete the ones that you don't need so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be notified every time we release new videos until next time thanks for watching and see you soon